Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk to you about the technical information regarding the ticket design project. Everyone's project will be unique and different according to the creative choices that you make. Inside of Google Classroom, I put a couple of resources for you. One is the Defont website with all sorts of amazing fonts, and the other is the Tame Impala tickets that you can look at for visual inspiration. The artist that I chose for my project is Supple Way, which is the stage name of Blaine Mazzetti, who is a Native American from the Luisano tribe that lives in San Diego County. And Supple Way music is about life on the reservation, love, heartbreak, uh, money, other types of uh, life experiences that he has had. He also likes to incorporate his native language into his music. Let's get started. Go to File New and I chose Mobile and this one right here because I thought that it looked like the shape of a ticket. However, I did choose the orientation to be horizontal instead of vertical and then just title it um, whatever you want. So I'm going to say ticket with my name and I'm going to unclick where it says artboard and click create. Now I do think that this is a little bit too wide so I am going to use the crop tool and just bring this down to just eyeball it what what I think a ticket looks like. So something like that and then check mark. Now I'm going to go to File, Place Embedded, and earlier I did an internet search and I found my album cover, which is right here, and I saved it into my uh, folder. So there we go, Place. And I'm gonna move that over here to the side. I'm gonna leave a little bit of room for my barcode at the end, and then my other information is gonna go here. I'm gonna click the check mark. Now I'm going to get my, my uh, barcode, which I just got from the internet right here. Um, I searched for long barcode. I'm gonna right click and copy this, go back to Photoshop and then go to edit, paste. Now I'm gonna rotate that. So control or command T gives me my rotation controls and a tip if you hold down shift on the keyboard it constrains it to 15% uh, increments so I'm gonna move that where I want it and then click the check mark however I'm gonna click and drag in the layers and put it underneath the image now um, to me this album cover looks a little bit washed out so I'm going to um, go back to my album and I'm going to do something called rasterize the layer. So right click on it in the layers panel and go to rasterize layer. Now the reason that I'm doing this is because when you use place embed it doesn't give you full options for the image. So when you rasterize the image it basically unlocks it and lets you do whatever you want to with it. So I'm going to make a copy of this Control or Command J, so now I have two of them, and I'm going to set the blend mode to multiply. And you can see that that has um, really darkened that up and made it a lot richer, and I, I like that effect a lot. You could do so many things um, to your image. Um, you could use any of the adjustment layers um, down here to create whatever effects that you want to. This is how I think my image looks good. Now I'm going to get the eyedropper tool over here and click on this color right here, this kind of nice burnt orange color. I'm going to go to my background layer and I'm going to get the paint bucket tool which is um, grouped with the gradient tool so sometimes you have to click and hold on the gradient and and access the paint bucket that way. So paint bucket tool and I'll paint paint that background. 
So now I have all of this space here where I'm going to put all of my ticket information. You'll notice in the original, I really don't like this text here. So I replaced it with a different text. And this is it right here. So I went to um, defont.com and I searched around and I found this one, Dekiru, and I downloaded it and I will show you, here is the uh, folder where I placed it. This is in my Google Drive. And I opened up my Dekiru and I clicked install. And that's how I got that font into Photoshop. And I used that for my ticket design. I wanna to talk to you about something called kerning. So let me get the text tool and I'm going to highlight the name of the venue. Now I'm going to go over to the properties and look at this right here where it says VA and has a little line under it. This is called the kerning. And when I open this, you can see it's set on zero. Watch what happens if I put it, for example, on 200. So it puts space between the letters. And that's obviously not what I want in this instance. So I'm going to cancel that. But that is how right here where it says the events center, I did put this kerning on 200 and that's why it is spaced out so nicely. Next, I'm gonna show you about the align and distribute functions in Photoshop. So over here in my layers panel, I'm going to click on C and then hold down control or command on the keyboard, get 22 and 14 so that I have all of my assets clicked, uh, selected over here. Now I have the move tool selected and across the top are my align options. I'm gonna click the middle one, which is to align the horizontal centers and watch what happens. Very nice. Now I'm gonna click on these three dots here and go down here to distribute. And for distribute, I'm going to click in, click on the middle option, which is to align the vertical centers and watch what happens there. So it saves a lot of time and it looks very neat and professional to have these evenly spaced out. And sometimes I have to use those over and over again to get these to line up just the way that I need them. And you can use that um, align and distribute function for all of the text all over your ticket to make it look very professional. Next, I'm gonna show you how to use rulers and guides to recreate these lines. So I'm gonna turn those off in my layers panel temporarily and go to view rulers. Now I'm gonna click right on the ruler, hold and drag a line down to where I think I want my first orange line to be, maybe right about here. Now I'm gonna click on this ruler over here, hold and drag out another line where I want my other uh, line to go. Now in the layers panel, I'm going to click the plus sign down here to make a new layer. I'm going to go to the brush tool and hold it and get the pencil tool. I'm gonna to set it to, mm, let's, let's try eight. We'll see what that looks like and for, for the size. Um, this is a bit too dark, so I'm going to use my eyedropper tool and get this light orange right here. Go back to my pencil tool. Now I'm going to click one time right here to make a dot, and I'm gonna hold down shift and click right here, and that made my line. Now I'm going to click here one time, hold down shift and click here. And I'll hide my guidelines and you can see what effect that created. So you can use those um, dividing lines the way that you want to in your ticket design. I'll turn mine back on and that's how I decided to use lines in my design. Another thing that I wanted to show you was how I created this side of the ticket 
to have this background image. So let's go back to this one. I'm going to go to File, Place Embedded, and get a, another copy of my album right here, Place. And this time I stretched it really large because I wanted this part of the background that has the the kind of um, landscape in it. So check mark. And then I took the eraser. Oh, so see, it won't let me erase because I have not rasterized this layer. So right click, rasterize. Now I um, erased this part because I didn't want the person, I just want the landscape. And there we go. And then I um, copied that. So let me do Control J or Control or Command J. So now I have two of those. And I just um, flipped it. So I'll go to Edit, Transform, Flip. Is it horizontal? I think it's horizontal. Flip horizontal. And then I um, scooted those together and had that be my background. But I did some other things to it, like I believe I did a blend mode. Uh, it wasn't multiply. I can't remember which one I used, but um, just experimenting with it until I found the one that I thought looked um, the best. And uh, this is what I ended up with. Well, have fun with your project, everyone. I can't wait to see what you do.